Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and we have talked about mixed reality headsets in the past. We have one from HP that we actually unboxed and you can check it out out here if you guys want. But what we have with us is the Acer mixed reality headset. Now, this one is priced at about uh, 36,999 rupees in India. It is way cheaper than 30,000 rupees in the US. And as always, we're going to show you everything that's inside after a little bit of struggling. So the best part about a mixed reality headset is the fact that you actually have a more cord free experience when compared to something uh, like the Oculus, uh, sorry, the HTC Vive where you actually have to set up everything inside the room from uh, the motion detectors which go up on uh, your wall and uh, the advantage of that is free roaming. However, with these headsets, you actually have uh, outward facing sensors which actually communicate with the controller. Uh, now, we actually did get a chance to experience the Acer Mixed Reality headset some time ago. We will leave a link to our experience in the comment section below. But uh, once again, we'd like to show you that you have the simplest headband that comes with it, something that you can actually control with one wheel, something which we have seen on the PlayStation VR headset in the past. And how it works for people like me who wear glasses, well, that's also something that we will talk about. Uh, you have the HDMI and USB connector for your laptop. Acer has also shared uh, the Helios 300 with us to test this on. And we're actually going to show you how to connect it to a laptop now. Um, the advantage of the controllers, as with what we've experienced in the past at launch events, is its precision. So a big problem with motion controllers, if you've experienced the PlayStation VR or anything apart from the HTC Vive, is this, literally the movement of the wrist. And what you have are these bunch of dots, which actually glow up once they are powered on and come and communicate with the headset. So what we are going to do is give you a quick look at all the accessories that you get uh, with here. And if I'm right, yes, these are powered by two AAA batteries, which is kind of a bummer because it would have been nice to see rechargeable batteries that uh, can charge over a micro USB cable. However, battery life is something we will talk about in our review for these controllers. And we are going to give you a look at how to set it up with an Acer Predator Helios 300. And if you can hear that knocking noise, we live below a very happy couple. Okay, so the reason the clothes have changed is because we had a little bit of a technical difficulty yesterday, but we are back. So we showed you the unboxing in the first half of the video. Now we're going to be setting it up. Now, you will notice that the Mixed Reality headset comes with an HDMI cable and a USB cable, which we have plugged in to this laptop out here. Now, once you plug in uh, the cables, you are going to get a Mixed Reality window that's going to open on your PC. And the first thing it's going to do is check whether the system requirements that are a part of your PC are enough to run the headset and you're going to get green check marks. After that, you will have to follow the on-screen instructions, which are really very simple to get the Mixed Reality headset working. At one point, you will arrive at two options options, the ability to actually stand and move around in a space where you will need five feet by seven feet. As you can see, we don't have that out here. So we chose the option to sit down and use it. You will also have to switch on your controllers by uh, pressing the Windows button for about two to three seconds and you will feel them vibrate and the lights will glow like this. So once they are on, they will sync automatically with uh, the system. If they don't, you have a sync button at the bottom where the batteries are and you can press that to sync it. Following the on-screen instructions are as simple as installing an app. Once you've installed the app, you have to wear the headset and you will be in a virtual space where you can access your videos that are locally stored to watch them. You can access the App Store. Now, if you also want access to a large library of games, you can access Steam's VR Store. Now, once you are actually inside the Steam VR Store, you will actually have to download the Windows Mixed Reality app, which is a part of the Steam VR Store to access a Mixed Reality headset. If you have another headset like the HTC Vive, that will be automatically recognized. Keep the laptop's camera, the device, and the controller all in view. We did face a few hiccups while setting it up, but ultimately when you launch the Steam VR app, you will be in the Steam VR store. Now we have spent about half a day setting all this up with the device, so we can give you a little bit of feedback about how this feels. First of all, the headband is something that is fairly comfortable and easy to put on. It's simply just put it on, rotate the wheel, 
and it fits tightly and of course you can lift it up or something like Ready Player One. The minute you put it on uh, the app on uh, your PC you will open so you actually have access to the real world as well in case you know somebody decides to come and trouble you. Another interesting uh, thing is your access to a headphones jack. So if you have a pair of headphones that you would like to use and we highly recommend it for a more immersive experience, you can simply connect your headphones 3.5 mm jack out here and you are good to go with the audio as well well uh, there are a large library of games available both on the windows store and uh, the steam vr store we are going to check out a few of them in the process of this review but on our initial impressions we can tell you two things uh, the build quality of the headset though comfortable and convenient isn't the best especially uh, where your nose fits it's really really tight sometimes you will have to breathe out of your mouth it just feels a lot of pressure on your nose and uh, the other con is the fact that you can open the headset to you know just get a peek in the real world there is always going to be light bleeding that's going to come inside from the bottom and if you're someone like me that wears glasses especially big glasses you are going to have to make a lot of adjustments to get a comfortable fit of this however this isn't our final verdict like i said we've spent about half a day with the headset we will bring you our final review of this device really really soon if you would like to know certain answers to questions about this headset you can leave it in the comment section below we will do our best to add it to our review of the device and of course for more videos like this one you can stay tuned to digit.in we will catch you in another video it's goodbye for now